today with the students of class 9 we are going to perform a speed drama based on properties of semantic algebra so here are the characters Mia to as the narrator of the story Anukya as a parallelogram the queen of geo land Snehal as a squire the princess of geo land and Sufyan doing a double role of Rhombus and Amagolator and the Ajay doing the role of Istapolator and Rhombus and the last Aditya doing the role of Trapezoid so, so the, the theme of the story is about an arrogant princess, rich in qualities, the square, need to choose a prince for which she requires to have as many properties as possible. Therefore, she allows her mother, the pedagogue, to help her make her decisions. Now, here the story begins. There was once a beautiful land called Geoland, a princess with no sibling, was spoiled, smart, beautiful, and was called Square C. Dear, I think it's about time you meet your chosen one. I let everyone in the empire know and I have a lot of cool knights come in here. What do you think in this case and you shall pick one of them? Mother, don't you think you are hurrying? I am fond on finding a knight that has at least the many properties as I do. I wouldn't want to compromise like our neighbor impressed the equilateral triangle who married just a month ago the 30, 60 and 90 triangle. The long awaited day came and at the door of the palace there was a big crowd of knights who were more or less far away from all the corners of the kingdom. Scene 2. Hello and welcome. As you all probably know, you are here to steal my little prince's heart. Oh, poor thing. She doesn't want you to see a fight, so we won't have the tournament. All we are interested in are your properties. Let's hear you, gentlemen. Honored princess, let me introduce myself. I am a normal quadrilateral, and my biggest property is that my sum of all the four angles is 360 degree. Darling, I know you are really proud of your property, but this property you all have. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Dear, uh, dear princess, first time to introduce myself. I am a sky quadrilateral, and besides this property we all have, I can also brag with the fact that my food is angular supplementary, which means that this sum is 180 degree. Hey, I also have that property. Wow, that's actually really interesting. Even I can't brag about that. But unfortunately, the princess possesses this property as well. But what about my qualities? I have to parallel size. Oh, you must be the trapezoid. Then anything else? Yes, you recognize me beside that the adjacent triangle formed by a parallel side with parallel sides are supplementary. And even more the angles made by each of the parallel sides with the same diagonal are equal. Oh, look at me too, or the empress, or the princess, or the rectangle, all are play about that. Indeed, and our opposite parallel sides are congruent? Yes, yes, are also. The room does start to empty itself and the compression becomes close. The only candidates that were left were the rhombus and the rectangle. Sure. See? Sure, I guess you are the only one left. Let's see. Will you excuse me for just a moment? I am sure that they will both start bragging about their fact having the same middle. Darlings, don't bother. Both me and my daughter have the same property. But besides that, my diagonals are congruent. And mine are the bisector of the angles. My odd angles are right. And my diagonals are perpendicular. Also, they will say that all my angles are congruent. So what? I am in style. That's something that you can't say about yourself. No, no. Enough! I can't tell anything new. I have also this property, the Skeda. The day was supposed to be the happiest turn out to be so hard. It looked like the princess square was so perfect that she could not find someone with her own size. Dear, sometimes I feel so bad for stimulating your critical thinking so much. What, if you never find your right knight? Oh mom, please, don't bother me. I want to take my time. Oof. Who will explain you? Hey dear, there's another candidate who just showed up. Have you ever heard about regulated hexagon? I have actually heard about him. So what? He doesn't even have four sides. No darling, he have not four. He have six sides and all of them are congruent and its angles are congruent as well. Yes, but they are not right angles. They are even bigger than that and they are all 120 degrees. And diagonals, does he have any? Of course, he has not one, not two, not three, not four, not five, not six, not seven, not eight, but nine diagonals. Three diagonals connecting diametrically opposite vertices are twice longer than the side, which means it is not from, from one, not two, okay, not three. Okay, get to the point. Oh, okay, sorry. So, I was saying that uh, um, it is formed from six equilateral triangles and the other six diagonals forms two equilateral triangles. That's the David star. If you have ever heard of it and he is also inscribed, so, as you can see, he has more properties than you. 
All right, let him come. He is the one. Watchman, send the flag in front of my window to inner relation thing. So the princess finally find. So that the princess finally find his knight. Uh, has selected the hexagon as his knight. So this was the very end of our story. With this, me and my teammates are very thankful to you all for listening us so enthusiastically and so of interest. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.